All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's show, we will be talking about a famous Florida architect. I was able to come across a house here in Pensacola, a recently discovered house that was part of his books, but there's no documentation on it, which was shocking to us when we heard about it. I uh, got a few images and I, I, I did a drive by. I'd love to share this with you guys. You guys can tell me a little bit more about it if you guys know anything about it. I will try to leave a link to where you can go to the house on Google Maps. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the images and uh, leave a message. And don't forget to subscribe. Paul Rudolph. One of the United States' leading architects of modern era, Paul Marvin Rudolph, October 23, 1918, died August 8, 1997, was known for his contributions to modernists throughout the later part half of the 20th century. He served as the chair of Yale University School of Architecture for six years and famously designed the Yale Art and Architecture Building, one of the earliest examples of brutalist architecture in the United States. Born in Elkton, Kentucky, Rudolph spent most of his youth in Alabama and graduated with a bachelor's degree of architecture from Alabama Polytechnic Institute, now Auburn University, in 1940. After working for a year in Alabama, he briefly attended Harvard University Graduate School of Design, where he studied under Bauhaus founder Walter Gropius. He spent his formative years at Harvard studying alongside many other permanent architects of the 20th century, including I.M. Pei and Philip Johnson. He then left school for three years and spent World War II at the Brooklyn Navy Yard before returning to Harvard and graduating with his master's in 1947. After graduation, he moved to Florida where he became one of the most famous architects of Sarasota School of Architecture, a regional post-war style that is characterized by his care for consideration of local climate and terrain. After working for four years with Ralph Twitchell, Rudolph started his own practice in 1951 and got garnered a reputation for his Florida houses. By the late 1950s, he began receiving commission, commissions for larger projects, simultaneously beginning his term as dean of the Yale School of Architecture in 1958, where he taught notable architects including Moose Harul Islam, Norman Foster, and Richard Rogers. Although he is most often recognized for his concrete structures, when Woodrowless fell out of favor in the United States during the 1970s, his style evolved during this period. He designed numerous class offices, towers around the world, including LiPo Center Station of MTR in Hong Kong. Although his career in the United States began a slow decline in the 1970s, his large-scale project in Southeast Asia brought him international attention. Paul Rudolph is remembered for his Lama buildings across the globe as well as his career spanning archives which has denoted to the Library of Congress. At the time of his death, he also donated all his intelligent property rights to the American people, a gift which he helped establish the Center for Architecture, Design, and Engineering at the Library of Congress. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and give me a like. See you next time.